Today I'll show you a super cool scroll effect where sections smoothly slide over each other, revealing hidden content as you scroll. We'll do it all right inside Elementor without using any extra plugins or coding. So let's get started. Before applying the masking effect to your site, it's important to understand the basic mechanics of the effect. Every site is unique and we want to avoid any errors, right? So here's how it works. Imagine your homepage has five containers. To apply a masking effect to the first container, I'll create a new container with a height of 200 VH, which provides me enough space to scroll. Then I'll copy and paste the first container into this larger one. Once they are nested, I'll apply a Z index to achieve the masking effect. Now the second container should overlap the larger container we just created. So give it a slightly higher Z index and a negative margin to hide the extra space. This is necessary for the effect to work, so make sure you don't miss it. For the remaining three containers, I'll create a new container with a height of 300 VH, which will let you scroll for, yes, you guessed it, three containers. Then I'll follow the same steps as before to make the mask and unmask effect work. All right, this may sound tricky, but don't worry. It's actually quite simple once you see it in action. So let me show you how I did it. First, some disclaimers. I am doing this on a staging site to be safe. And second, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's start with the first container. So click to add a full width container. Once you've added it, go to its settings on the left panel and set the minimum height to 200 VH. This makes it cover two full screen heights. Now set the padding to zero to keep everything aligned neatly. Next, copy your first banner. This could be an image, text or any content. And paste it inside this container. After that, go to the advanced tab on the left and assign the container a Z index of one. Now, to make the container stick as you scroll, click on the motion effects section in the advanced tab, enable sticky, and from the drop down menu, set it to top. Also, toggle on the stay in column option. This makes sure the container stays fixed while the rest of the page scrolls. All right, that's it for the first container. Let's move on to the next one. Go to the advanced tab, and set the top margin to minus 700 pixel. This overlaps it with the first container, creating the masking effect. Then assign a Z index of two, so it sits above the first container. Once you've set this up, preview the design by scrolling through your page. You should see the second container masking the first as you scroll. Now let's add the third container. Add a new container, and in its settings, set the minimum height to 300 VH. This makes it taller, so it has enough room to scroll. Next, go to the advanced tab and adjust the margins by setting minus 700 pixels for both the top and bottom margins. This ensures it aligns perfectly with the other containers. Then, set the Z index to one to position it correctly in the layer stack. After that, go back to the motion effects section, enable sticky again, set it to top, and adjust the sticky offset to 100. This will ensure the animation kicks in at the right point. Finally, toggle on the stain column option to keep everything working smoothly. Done. Now preview the page, and you'll see the third container unmasking while the second container scrolls away. The effect is starting to take shape. Now for the final container, add another full width container to your page. Again, in its settings, set the minimum height to 200 VH. To align the content at the bottom of this container, click on justify content and set it to end. Then copy your last banner. This could be an image or any closing content and paste it inside this container. Now go to the advanced tab for this container and assign it a Z index of one to ensure it's in the right position. To make everything transition seamlessly, go back to the third container. In the advanced tab, 
set its bottom margin to minus 700 pixels and change its Z index to 2. Click on the motion effects section in the advanced tab, enable sticky. This ensures the last container integrates smoothly and the unmasking effect flows perfectly. Now that everything is set up, it's time for final adjustments. First, click update on your page and preview it to see how the unmasking effect looks. If it's not working as expected on smaller devices, switch to responsive mode in Elementor and adjust the VH values for each container. This will ensure the design works seamlessly on all screen sizes, including mobile. And there you have it. You've just created a stunning unmasked scroll effect that's dynamic, smooth, and responsive. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.